Minecraft speedrunner versus four hunters rematch. Dreaming this manhunt decides to absolutely dunk on everyone, so I decided to try to dunk on the seed. So here's Minecraft speedrunner versus four hunters rematch speedrun. So we spawn right in a plains, right next to a swamp, and I begin running towards the trees to grab some wood. In Dreams Manhunt, they ended up starting right here, essentially, so that's pretty cool. We begin punching this tree, and we're trying to get some wood punching noises, and then I dig down to craft tools. Here, we are going to craft a stone axe, a stone shovel, and a wooden pickaxe. That's what we need. We do not need a stone pickaxe at all in this run. And while making tools, this scene was very noteworthy due to the amount of chance of going apples that were found in desert temples all around the seed, which is the reason why it stuck out to me and I wanted to actually try playing it. I finished making my tools and I decided to get a little bit more wood before heading to the desert. So I ended up running essentially a marathon here to the village, so I'm just going to speed this all up. Just a tiny a little bit of running later we arrive at the village we have a few things that we need to grab here first i grab a bed and then i'm grabbing a little bit of food actually we kind of need a lot of food for this run after grabbing food we need to go get the golem because we need some iron for an iron pickaxe stacking noises i craft my food real quick before going against the golem This was an intense fight, one to go down in the history books, but I ended up taking home the dub in this fight. I craft an iron pickaxe and get my crafting bench before looting another house where I grab two beds. One, two. Here's something that I don't think was in the manhunt that we're about to stumble upon, and it's a ruined portal. This ruined portal actually has enough stuff to where we can enter the nether, which is super duper convenient because before I was betting on golem drops and then running to a lava pool that was probably about 100 blocks away. But instead, this solves that problem and is super consistent. It just made running this seed so much better than it was previously. So we spawned in the nether, and here's another change from Dreams of Manhunt, where we are going to a Bastion, and he did not do a Bastion in his run. Rather, he used classic pickle and trading strats to get his pearls. Classic strats can be extremely useful whenever there's not a Bastion nearby, but in this case, there's a Bastion really close to my nether spawn. Now, you have to keep in mind that he entered the nether at a different location, so I don't know how far the Bastion would be from his portal. We take a little bit of fall damage and then I need to start running against the edge of this hill and I have a lot of trouble running against edges of hills. I'm not sure if it's just me, but I have a lot of trouble with it. And you can see me kind of struggling in this run. So we're almost to the Bastion, but first we still need to run to this Crimson and go a bit through the Crimson before we can actually see the Bastion. There it is. So we got a stables bastion and I end up not even going to the bottom section or the main section of the stables bastion, but just keeping to the top of it. And we have to bridge over there first. I sleep. So at this bastion, like I mentioned earlier, we're not gonna mess at all with the bottom section. We're only gonna stay at the top section. And so I'm stacking up to the top chest to loot them. So now at the top, I dig a hole and try to get the pigs into it with some gold. And some of them aren't looking the right way. Like, boy, I have some gold here. Come over here. Anyways, after they're all in the pit, I loot the chest. And each of them has a gold block in it. Which makes it to where we don't even really need to use our iron pickaxe. Which, bruh. I head over to the other stables tower and in these chests also there's gold blocks like what are the odds of all of these chests having gold blocks in them i don't know but it's a pretty cool seed nonetheless i hop back to the main tower and i threw in some gold for the pigs to continue bartering then i check the drops i picked up the gold here so i had to throw it back into the pit eating noises and the piglin barters are taking a bit, so I decided to craft my beds here, since why not? I have time. And I have to continue waiting for some obsidian and pearls so I can leave. I need the obsidian so I can build a portal and leave the nether at a different location. And we need the pearls to actually get to the fortress. Where are they? Killing is making a choice. Where are they? 
Once I get where I need, I pearl out of the bastion. And here's a change that I actually made like only a few runs prior. And it's because I got hit by a hoglin on the way to the fortress. So we're going to make a pit stop at a ruined portal soon. And this was the change that I made. And I kid you not, I really couldn't believe it myself, but there's just a looting three sword chilling in there. Just chilling in there on the way to the fortress. And you can begin to see the fortress to my right. It's kind of far out and it's in the middle of a lava lake, which is an absolute pain. But I still have to hop through this teal biome. Warp forest, warp forest, that's what it's called. We have to hop through this warp forest to even get near the fortress. I pearled to this basalt spike because honestly, I couldn't make the throw all the way to the fortress. And this was absolutely a mess, but I get on top of the spike finally and throw one at the fortress. Now at the fortress, I have to stack up to actually get into it and stacking noises, stacking noises. If you've made it to this point in the video, consider liking and subscribing. It really helps me out and I'd appreciate it. Here's another change that had to be made on the spot. Since I was low on pearls, I couldn't pearl over to the spawner. And so I had to just deal with the blazes right above me instead. I killed the second blaze and I realized that we have enough rods to leave. But we had one issue. I didn't have enough pearls really to pearl away. And so I had to run through the fortress for just a little bit, you know, but it was a bit intense. And then throw a pearl with this wither skeleton just booking it towards me. So a pearl landed and we're low in hearts and I decided just to fall again. My heart literally stopped in this moment, but we survived, so I had to keep going. So I booted up F3 because I knew where I needed to build the portal coordinate wise. So I was trying to find it. And once I found it, I began building my portal. I lit the portal and we left another. And we ended up in the stronghold, which is crazy because if I was on the other side of the portal, we would have been on the surface. We entered the portal room and I placed a block in the center of the portal before crafting my eyes and putting them in the portal frame. This was my fastest end entry out of all my attempts. My second fastest was like a 930. So we have to dig out of this end spawn, which takes me a second, but once we get out, I have to run towards the fountain. Now we have no pearls here, so I can't pearl towards the fountain and I won't be able to pearl in for the perch, which is very concerning to me because I always miss the perch if I'm not pearling in. But I continue running mid so I can place the Crying Obsidian on the fountain and have our one cycle set up ready to go. In Dream's Manhunt, he actually went for a one cycle too, but he didn't have hitboxes on. I'm assuming because it makes the Manhunt look a lot better if there's not gross hitboxes around. But we have hitboxes on because I'm not going to hit the one cycle without hitboxes, so we kind of need it on. So I continue backing up and I see the dragon kind of going in a straight line across and I think this is a perch so I start moving in. I see the dragon turn around quick and that's a perch. And I am bolting towards the fountain and I actually have to place a bed and blow it up just to push the dragon up a bit to give me some time. And we close it out with five beds. Again, this seed was practiced and was from Dream's Manhunt. I practiced it hundreds of times before I got this run. This is set seed. And time. 9.33.05. This seed was a ton of fun to speedrun. If you have any suggestions for another seed that I should run, comment it down below.